All right, it's uh, day 35 of Cleaning Piece 3. It's kind of amazing because um, I said I was going to do it once a week, and then I like was like, yeah, you know, maybe I'll do like twice a week. Maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll, no, I mean, I got worse. I was like, maybe I'll just do like once every three weeks, you know, because I was enjoying the break and, and sort of relaxing it rather than every day. But then um, today I was like, I'm going to do it today. You know, it's 4.30 in the morning right now. And um, I looked down to see when the last time that um, I recorded it was exactly seven days ago. <laughs> so it's like, wow, you know, um, when I said a week, I guess it's a week. Um, of course, it sometimes it takes me a day to get it out to the world. But, you know, this is day 35. Um, last night I showed some of the cleaning piece to some of the students and faculty at the university and they all had a lot to say about it. You know, one person was telling me they would like to try and buzz around my ear and sort of be the trickster and try to make me have negative thoughts, but I don't think they realized that it wasn't of course I'm going to have negative thoughts, you know. I think that's the first response to everybody. It's, I'm not going to say negative things about other people. That's the, that's the, the, the caveat here. And, um, the other thing that just happened now is, you know, I woke up and I saw, you know, a message from a friend on Facebook and it was really kind of, you know, someone in a, in a bad spot and, I immediately recognized it. Like, I guess thinking about that idea again of like negative thoughts, um, not only about ne not saying negative things to others, but just how much we can beat ourselves up and feel like life is hopeless at times for ourselves. I've certainly been there many 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 times in my life um especially as a as a working artist like it's really difficult at times and so i was thinking of what to say to my friend to really engage them and help them find their own space and way through it and i really just wanted to say i love you and I guess I said something around that, um, but maybe I need to say I love you too. I was, uh, you know, like there were like refreshments before cleaning piece went on and there was this one wonderful uh, student, I think it was a student, might have been a faculty member, and they just kept saying over and over, you know, all you need is love. Love is all you need. And I was like, oh, you're a fan of John Lennon? They're like, yeah, I like John Lennon. And I was like, you're a working class hero? And they're like, yeah, I'm a working class hero. It was kind of, you know, there's there's something, I, I also think magical about people who engage their imaginations and then also let those imaginations uplift them and uplift others. Because when you think about them more someone mentions them like this all you need is love it's like a remembrance and even if you're having a tough time it reminds you and inspires you and then suddenly you find courage in yourself and i don't think that um john lennon or yoko always felt courageous and maybe it's the times when you feel the least courageous or the least happy or the least powerful when you find that kind of inspiration that can really offer help because you're not actually trying to offer help. You're just trying to help yourself.